first two foam units, you're about to go around the rear side of the aircraft. Come up there and protect the uh, fire from the evacuation side. Okay. state-of-the-art equipment uh, the National Capital Region can offer, uh, but we're lacking we, with, with 15 and almost 20-year-old facility for training. So what the students were able to give us is, is a facility that ma matched the equipment that we have and, and, and match the, uh, the needs of the operational necessity of the department. The first thing that the students did for us was fabricate a bunch of seats. I believe it was six or seven rows of seats. So originally our aircraft mock-up was just an empty shell. In, on the inside. So the fact that they were able to fabricate seats gave us obstacles and real life working obstacles for the firefighters as they train uh, to have rescuing victims, uh, advancing hoses and things of that nature. Um, the next thing they did for us is they built a freestanding wheel and engine fire prop or engine prop that we're going to be able to simulate fire uh, and actually have fire come out of it which uh, will better prepare us to respond to wheel and brake emergencies, fires, as well as engine fires and things of that nature. They are structurally certified welders, uh, my students are, uh, and this is just some of the aspects of that structural certification. The, uh, we've been building a bulkhead door here. Um, we also built an engine mounting handy here outside so the firefighters can practice. What was the best part about working on this for you guys? Just coming down here and seeing it all pieced together after all the months of hard work and everything. They, they produced a product far superior than we could have even thought about with our little napkin drawings to start with. We want to train to do what we have to do and hope we never have to do it. <laughs>